stock market analysis and projections on the S&P 500. Here's some important information. This talks about how uh, we uh, look at the markets, what our approach is uh, to the markets, and it also talks about you and uh, how you can use the information that we provide and the important aspect of trade ownership. You have to own your own trades. If you're going to be successful, no matter what I say, anybody on our team says, or what anybody in the realm of option analyst uh, or uh, any of the websites out there that talk about markets, you have to own the trades if you want to be successful. All right, our uh, level three special offer. Um, make sure that you do um, look at the great uh a huge list of things earlier in the show that's included in here where I show the 10 reasons to become a level three member. You can become a level three member 35% off uh, the regular quarterly. It's just 232 uh, for three months. That's 77.33 a month versus 119 a month. Um, you will never have so much great information from anywhere else as we provide to you. So go to AskSlim.com and go to the top of the website and you'll be able to see uh, how to sign up. Uh, also, for those of you that do sign up, uh, and if you become a free member, you're going to get this. You'll be able to attend this webinar, which is on Tuesday, September 24th at 12.15 p.m. Central Time. You're going to get a live uh, Zoom uh, link that you'll be able to attend. And Matt and I are going to review everything that's in here and how we uh, use our analytic approach, analytical approach with our tools and uh, our unbelievably unique style that we have. They're going to walk you through all of that. Uh, and uh, then you're going to want to become a level three member at this great discounted price. Stock market analysis, uh, SPX, cycle analysis and projections using level four indicators. And uh, I'm going to do separate analysis this time for swing traders, position traders versus short term traders. Uh, usually I put that all together, but I really want you to see the difference uh, in the styles and how we uh, uh, how the things we offer uh, are available to traders and investors really of any style of any holding period and I think you're gonna just love this approach so uh, let's take a look as we look at the stock market and we're gonna look at the S&P 500 we'll start out with the longer term uh, we'll start out here looking at the weekly right here so this is a weekly chart on the S&P 500 this is the daily chart on the S&P 500 so I'm looking at it on the side by side now we said uh, and we sent a, a what we call is one of our most notable comments to our members a week ago and we said we were entering into this rising phase on the daily chart and we said that we needed to see what the strength was in here. If it couldn't make it up to this high over here, which was a normal target at around the 56, uh, 59, 56, 69 area, uh, which was like right over here, sorry. And this is that other high here of that cycle that it would, you know, then be telling us something negative that we were getting into the period of risk here. But if it got through it, of course, that would tell us the market was still strong. And that is what we did. So before I get into how you actually use this information, let's analyze first the weekly pattern right here, and then we'll analyze the daily pattern. So the weekly pattern you can see in here, this minor cycle right in here. For those of you that are brand new, these brackets on the bottom that you see are a drawing tool. They're a guide for us to be able to see what the, the money flows are, the rhythms in the market. And we had this break right over here, and the sharpness of this decline right over here came on that yen carry trade panic. Uh, which had it break pretty nicely right on time into that time frame. So these two lines you see here are what we call the, the bottoming timing period right there. And we have another one of those coming out over here also, which suggests that there will be another decline. Now, when you get this period in here where the minor weekly and the dominant weekly are both pointing to the downside is when you get the biggest corrective period. You can see that here and here and here and coming up over here. Our projection was that sometime in September through November would be that period where the window opens for that correction. What happens is, is that as the momentum turns up, 
right over here, we look for the momentum conditions to begin to weaken and turn down before we actually believe we have a peak. So under the conditions we have right now, what we see is that the minor cycle is rising and making a new high. That tells us there's still a strong upward force from the dominant cycle. As we can see here on this daily, uh, on this weekly momentum condition right there, looking at our level four indicator, the reversal scout. So that tells us that there's no reversal yet. And what we would expect would be that when we would get into the actual period of risk, when the market does begin to fall in some significant way, then that is very likely to give you a uh, downward turn in momentum and a decline. Now, because this decline was as far down as it, it was, we're projecting this decline over here to take us down to that monthly 23.6% support area, which is somewhere down over here around 51, under 5,200. Uh, maybe down as low here as 5100 so we expect that kind of a, of a decline in here but that's just anticipating projecting that what happens in every single cycle as you can see here 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 and here is going to happen again and i've studied cycle analysis now for almost 50 years and these are very consistent so there's a sizable decline out there between now and sometime in mid-november the window is open in that time. We have to let the market tell us when it really starts to decline and when we get into that. Here is the daily pattern right over here. And what we do is we construct what's called the slim cloud. It starts out with three or two channels, three lines in here. And what we look at is what we think is the most obvious uh, one for it to follow. And this one coming up and testing that high, as you could see. But then it takes a higher track. So we have to accommodate that and learn from that. And it tells us that while well, the possibilities are that this comes up in here sometime into so uh, early to mid-October, and then it has some downward move. If this follows this pattern and remains in a positive construct, which is what this is with a higher, a higher low right there, and that looks obvious that it will be that unless some heavy selling comes in, then what it tells us is that the next cycle over here, and I'm going to duplicate that trend line right there, it takes us into something like this, where it moves up in here after a decline, and then it has a very sharp decline because of the weekly pattern over here getting into that period of risk. So it may very well be that it's mid-October to mid-November that the real risk for the downside occurs based on that analysis. So what happened in here was that we got this positive cycle. It told us there'd be a rally here. When this turned positive, the slim ribbon, it tells us momentum is positive and strong. When the slim ribbon PO on the bottom turns green, it tells us the same thing. And as you can see here, when it, it's giving you these uh, uh, buy signals, in other words, momentum resumption signals, like you see right over here, like you saw back over here, then that tells you more about the strong condition. So if the market comes down a little bit and then this gets under the 25 level, gives you a green arrow, it will be telling you about further resumption to the upside. So when I look at this for the position trader for the swing trader the option trader that you know holds you know 15 to 30 days something like that what it tells me is the conditions are positive and that you know when you look at the upward momentum right over here and the upward momentum right over here whenever you get into a condition where the momentum is pointing up on the weekly and pointing up on the daily and this is green down over here is when you have the highest probability of a rising market <clears throat> so in other words if you're anticipating the period of risk and selling into the upside if you're liquidating longs because you're an investor i get that and i encourage that However, if you're a trader and you're looking at this and saying, well, the market's got to fall, I mean, you're standing in the way of an upward moving uh, rocket. And of course, you're going to get blasted if that happens. So uh, the, the best case that you can look at in here, uh, if you're a bull, is that it will continue to move up into this area of resistance, in my opinion, which is somewhere in the low 5800s 
that's where it comes out here on the weekly this line right over here and this line uh, let me just blow this up so that you can see it this line right over here and this line here are off the daily which uh, shows you where the resistances are so it's stalled here at the daily resistance as you can see right here and right here and this run right up over here is just over 5800 uh, as you can see over here so the potential for a move to 5800 or a little higher is there certainly when we look at this and the conditions are still positive let's uh, switch over to our website over here this is uh, the new front page if you haven't seen it uh, and uh, if you want to get our free information um, go into the free stuff here and click on snapshot light you'll get our daily information but this is where you sign up for that level three special with everything I'm showing you right now uh, and you're really going to enjoy that so let's go right over here to the market conditions monitor which is just absolutely fantastic now we're showing right now the inner really looking at intermediate term conditions uh, and for those of you that are longer term holders swing traders with long holdings though if you were sh uh, a little shorter term you might look at this right over here and you can see SPY QQQ IWM DIA all of them very bullish right there on short term and intermediate term so that's been that way for uh, quite a number of days and uh, that's uh, giving you the look at very positive conditions in the stock market so we're looking at our market condition monitor right over here and it's just a, a great way to see the markets just quickly uh, I'm just going to look at trades trade setup conditions in here you can get in here the top ones that are still bearish or very bearish right there and the ones that are in very bullish condition as you can see as I click on it right here and uh, FEZ XLF EWG that's Germany uber kie xlk all very very bullish right over there and if you want to get notified right over here there's our notifications right there which is a separate app for uh the notifications but you can see in here how these uh are very uh, uh very bullish uh in uh, a lot of cases and certainly for the stock market they are uh, very bullish so uh, that these conditions look strong to me that means that we're going to get pullbacks in here and it'll probably try to move up again and until we get an indication of this becoming negative then we will really don't believe we're going to be moving into the period of risk uh, that we are talking about now so this is for the position trader the longer holder of swing trader the option trader that you know holds positions for some 15 to 30 days something like that that's what we just looked at right now so now you know what we want to do <coughs> is we want to now change over and look in the short-term traders or near-term traders these are the people that are holding for just a, a number of days uh, maybe as much as you know eight or ten days or much shorter than that so we're going to look at the analysis changing in here so I'm going to switch over to a different set of charts and you'll see that this daily chart now moves over to the right side and now what I'm looking at is the two hour chart uh, uh, this switch over to the left side and on the right side is the two hour chart so <clears throat> if we look at this period right in here the declining period here and this rally so it's uh let's see let's look at this period right in here and that's uh this decline uh, let me just line this up a little better for you to see so this decline right in here where we had negative conditions that's this right over here on the two hour chart right there and uh, let me get my pointer so this is this decline right over here this is this rally right over here and this corrective period right here is right here and then the rally we're in is right here so what I'm showing you in here okay. is our proprietary indicators <clears throat> that are uh, how it looks on a two-hour chart and how it looks on a daily chart so if you're a short-term trader you're going to essentially you know especially if you're an interday trader you're going to this is a very very important chart for you on the two-hour chart because it's going to tell you about you know what direction you want to be in 
and maybe even your position sizing uh, if you are an intraday trader. Now, if you're a day trader or a trader that is what we call near term that holds for maybe as much as, you know, eight or 10 days, then you're going to use both of these charts right over here. And this is really your position sizing and, sizing and directional decision chart here. And this is your uh, entry exit uh, uh, and um, your, your how you bias your overall positions right over here. So this is uh, when you see the market turned up and you hear see it turn green right over here and you're in this positive period right over here, that aligns right in here with this positive period right over here. Slim ribbon, slim ribbon PO. You can see these signals right over here of upward resumptions. And what this tells you when the daily is in a rising phase and the two hours in a rising phase and the momentum conditions line up as positive and positive, as you see right there, that is when you must bias your positions to the long side. Then when you start to get the rollover here on the two hour is an indication that the daily chart is beginning to have a correction. And you can see that right in there where it turned down in here. And this only went neutral. This never went red over here. So you may not be overly excited about your position sizing. But when this goes negative right over here, well, you don't want to be long anymore for sure if you're going to be short. Because this is not negative. It's kind of neutral. You may not have your biggest size short positions on. You can use this for your positions, position sizing, as I'm saying, and this for your directional decisions. Then when the market turned up again right in here, so let's just look at this period right here and then this period right here. You can see this told you about the downside. This told you it was neutralizing. This now turned positive. This is giving you upward resumption signals. Here is your positive momentum. I'm showing it with this arrow right in here in positive momentum. That lines up with the positive momentum right over here on the daily chart. And that tells you you have to have your position set bullishly. You're, if you're trading the short side, if you're expecting a decline, you are fighting the information that is so clear looking at this. So no matter what I think, no matter if I think there's a period of risk coming, especially if you're a trader in this duration, which is the short term, near term duration of just a number of days, there's no sense on being short when the risk rewards favor the long side. So that's really important. No matter about periods of risk or long-term declines or any of that, this is where your focus is because you're a short-term, near-term trader, and this gives you the kind of information that you need. If you want to look at the potential for reversals, well, it's best to look at where you have extreme oversold conditions. Let's just uh, switch over. I'm going to go from the market condition monitor to our ranking systems. Now, if you become a level three member, you're going to get this also. And uh, what I like to do is look for stocks that are giving me extreme overbought conditions for the short term. And I'm just going to use the OBI here and I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to look for um, the orange readings. In other words, P1 orange is it's positive in momentum, but at an extreme. And Caterpillar, Deer, Oracle, PayPal, XLI, those are in the category. Now, if I wanted to short against this really positive momentum that we have going on, those would be the ones I'd look at because our indicators are telling me the probability of much advance is small compared to the probability of a short-term or near-term pullback. You can see in here the directional bias on these are very bullish, but overbought. Our algorithms are telling us that in here. The reason that it doesn't say overbought here is because this is yellow here. It's not green, so it's not quite as overbought as you can see, but the other ones are telling you that they are. All this information is in here. So if you want to know the directional bias conditions, the ones that are very bearish in here, <coughs> or long-term intermediate and short-term negative, OBI negative option bias indicator, you can just click on that and it tells you. This is the top 84 best traded optionable symbols, uh, ETFs, stocks, indexes, and uh, futures. So you can see in that, let me just uh, scroll up to the top in here. These are the ones that are very bearish. We know that about Boeing, you know, how bad a shape it is. And if I go on directional bias to very bullish, you can see the ones that are in there 
at very uh, bullish. And these are in P3 conditions or P2, which is a tiny little bit overbought right there. And these are the uh, intermediate uh, momentum conditions, which are all positive in there. When they're P1, they're late in the upside move. And you could expect that there would be some uh, reversal uh, coming in there fairly soon. Or the, it'll turn yellow at some point in here. Uh, so this is a great look at that. And uh, the the indexes are, the indexes are also uh, in here. But you can see how these uh, great uh, symbols uh, that you could possibly want to trade are all in there. Here's the SPX. It is bullish, suggestive of positive conditions, favor alongside bias. You can see that uh, very clear in there as you get this great alignment in long-term, intermediate, and short-term conditions and the option bias indicator. So this rankings really gives you a uh, great sense. And again, use that OBI because it gives you, I'm just going to scroll on the OBI right there, and it gives you a great idea of what uh, the option bias indicator is telling you, uh, uh, which ones are in really good shape or which ones are in really bad shape for your option traders out there or short-term traders. There's the positive ones right in there, AMD, Broadcom, Costco, Disney, First Solar. Those are all P3s right there in the option bias indicator. And this is just a fantastic app. So there you can see as we broke it down, looking at the setup for for the uh, short-term, near-term traders and how you can use the daily and the two-hour and uh, the Slim Ribbon PO right over here, uh, as you can see on both of these time frames, uh, that you can use them. Fantastic information. If you're a position trader or longer swing trader, you're going to use the weekly and the daily, as you see here, which are still positive. Yes, we are looking for a period of risk coming up in the stock market. Based on what we're looking at now, that's pushed out slightly in time because of the uh, structures that we're seeing here in the market. Yes, there will be pullbacks in the market. And yes, it's likely to be choppy. I think that the upside potential at most is that 5830 area, which I still think may be hard to come by, but it's easier to come by now based on what we're seeing right now than I thought a week ago because uh, the market told me so. And that's what we are. We're agnostic analysts where we look at all of this stuff. I mean, you could see the, the cycle structures tell us a lot. Our indicators tell us a lot. You can have all of that uh, by becoming a level three member with this great special that we have going on right now.